welcome back to my channel i had to make this video on youtube because i moved out of my parents home about six to seven months back and i've been sharing my experience extensively on instagram and i feel like any more and i'll probably get blocked to those of you who have no idea who i am my name is twinkle i am a 24 year old indian based in dubai and this whole video is about my experience moving out and living alone i'll be sharing my insights on finding the right apartment finances and all of that so keep watching. Okay, let's start with how it began. I used to live in Sharjah and I work in Dubai. The main reason for me to move out was purely a career move. I used to remember it was, I think, September 5th and I had a very important meeting at 8.30 in the morning in my office and I was driving from Sharjah, but I took a wrong exit, I think, and I was eight minutes late to the meeting. That's it. But I remember taking that wrong exit and just knowing that I'm going to be late. And then when I walked into the meeting, I remember my boss, she was very kind, but she basically just said, hey if you're gonna be late like let me know because we all have things to do so I'd rather be near my desk it wasn't a mean comment at all it was a very respectful comment but for me like making people wait I was like no 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 that that's definitely not gonna happen so the very same day from the office I called my mom and I was like listen I need to prioritize my career I need to be close to my office I need to come into work I can't be exhausted after my work because I need to do other things I'm gonna move like I need to move I spoke to my sister and my sister was very supportive and that's how it happened but yeah, it was either a Sunday or a Monday that I had the meeting. That Wednesday, I went to look for apartments. This was the very first apartment that I saw. And the coming Monday, I had already signed my contract. So that's how quickly things moved. And that's how I basically moved out. When it comes to looking for your apartment, there are multiple factors that goes into it. Budget, location, the aesthetics, lease, deposits lots of factors so while looking for an apartment you basically need to figure out your most important factors if you're going to be working from home you don't need to look at a location which is close to your office which means you can look at locations which have a lower rent so for me my primary factors were my pricing and my location i have a mall close to my home it's very close to the main road it's a safe place the buildings are new the community is great so those pretty much ticked off all my check boxes. The second primary decision for me was obviously the budget. Budget is obviously a very important factor when you move out, especially in your 20s or in your early stages of your career. I've kind of noticed this with a lot of people my age. They can't really adjust to a small space or they have a very high expectation from their first apartment or from their first living space. That's not really the case for me. I decided to move into a studio apartment because it makes sense for me financially. So when you're looking to move into your first apartment, it's okay to start small, especially in your 20s, because you have time to move into a one bedroom and then a two bedroom and then, you know, eventually a villa. You have time to do all of these things. So don't put a lot of pressure on yourself to get your first apartment to be massive and have all of the features that your salary does not allow for. Pick a budget that does not make paying rent a dreadful experience. Living alone can be fun, but it also does come with its own stress. So make sure that whatever you choose makes your life easier than more difficult. Another thing that you should also look into is your lease terms when you move out. So this does vary from properties to properties. In my contract, for example, if I'm not renewing it, I would have to let them know, I think two months in advance. And if I don't do that, then I have to pay a penalty of two months rent. Another thing to keep in mind is also the number of checks that you pay your rent in. So for example, if your rent is say 36,000 dirhams a year and you have to pay it in two checks, that means you would have to pay 18,000 every six months, which is a pretty big amount. So there are some properties that allow you to pay every single month. This is a great option if you earn good money because monthly checks can be more expensive. The more the number of checks, the higher your rent is gonna be. If you are able to pay your entire rent within one check, usually they will reduce the price. It's not a big amount, by the way, it's probably like 2,000 dirham difference, 2,000 to 5,000 dirhams difference, depending upon your rent, but it's a good thing to keep in mind. The process for looking for apartments are pretty straightforward. You go on to maybe bayouth.com and then you search in your requirement. Every website will have an agent contact. You get in touch with them, WhatsApp them, let them know what you're looking for. They'll send you pictures, schedule a day to visit the apartment. They'll give you a key, you get to look and that's it. And that's pretty straightforward. Another tip is also if you like a certain apartment, in a building always look at different units because some apartments can be slightly cheaper just because of the placement 
my apartment is the cheapest for example because i don't have an open kitchen as compared to the other studio apartments within the same building i don't really care i think there was a 2000 dirham difference which i definitely took because open kitchen wasn't really the biggest thing for me i live in a studio apartment in dubai Unfortunately, I'm not comfortable sharing the location. However, for this 350 square foot apartment, I pay 28,000 dirhams a year. My 28,000 is split into six checks. Now, I can pay it in either one check. I could have paid it in four, or I could have paid it in six. I opted for six just because I didn't want the pressure of having to save up like a lot more money to spend twice a year. I didn't want to do that. That works for me. Okay, my electricity per month comes up to 150. I do want to give a heads up though that I've not really lived in my apartment during the summer. I'm pretty sure my bill is going to be higher then, but 150 during the rest of the year is completely okay. For my Wi-Fi, I pay 314 dirhams a month. I have the Do Home Light pack. It's not the fastest Wi-Fi, but it works for me for my kind of work. It's not really a big issue. When it comes to my fuel, I pay I think 200 to 400 dirhams depending upon shoots, how much I have to travel. The cost of my food really depends upon the kind of month it is, how much I'm home, how much I'm outside. But I'd say food costs me between 500 to 1000 dirhams a month. It can go up or down. It's it's a very rough number. So adding up everything, my total cost comes up to 3000 to 4000 dirhams a month, which is rent, fuel, food, Wi-Fi, utilities, everything. Next I'm also going to give you some details about when you first move out. And so when you just move into an apartment there are a couple of deposits that you need to give. This can be quite expensive. For me my entire cost of just securing the apartment cost 10,000 dirhams. This was inclusive of my first rent check which was 4660. The commission which I had to give the agent this is unavoidable. The commission was 2000. My security deposit for the apartment which I will get back when I move out was 2000 dirhams. Ijari was 300 dirhams and my ac deposit also which i will get back was 2000 dirhams so total of 10600 dirhams again a pretty big amount so make sure that you have that saved up before you decide to move out of your parents home and get your own space the last but the most important section of moving out is personal growth and self discovery this is by far the most important thing to me when i first bought my own space it was purely a career move but after living alone for like 7 to 8 months it has become a lot more of an emotional decision as well my family home reminded me a lot of my uni phase and my post uni phase when i was like 19 and 20 and i was young and all of that stuff and i kind of reached a stage in my life where i wanted to move past that age and i wanted to enter this new era of taking care of myself and my finances and my individuality and all of that so when i moved out i feel like it kind of speeded up that process a lot more i moved into this apartment as a freshly heartbroken uh, 24 year old and this place quickly became my safe haven it felt like therapy to me to have your own space where you can cry anytime you can talk to yourself you have complete control over your schedule the time that you wake up the way that you look without the noise around you is so therapeutic i'm turning 25 in 2 months which means everyone around me is getting married or engaged and they're looking for apartments with their soon to be husbands and as happy as i am for them i always feel like oh so you're not going to experience living alone huh and i don't mean this in a oh i'm better than everyone kind of a way because i'm probably or maybe never going to experience apartment hunting with my future husband or i'll probably never get married or i understand that but those experiences are celebrated as it is but no one really celebrates this period in your life when you're alone and you're experiencing things alone and you're getting your first apartment alone it's literally only after living alone that i've realized how precious this time is where it's just me and my apartment and my decisions and how i want my bed to look but even when i was moving out i remember there was this conversation that i had with my mom where she was telling me something along the lines of oh i always just assume that when you leave this home it's going to be with a partner and it's going to be you and him doing everything together and the fact that that's not happened it makes me a little sad and i remember thinking to myself how differently me and her saw this whole experience i understand how important it is to establish that relationship with yourself the first few months of being in this space almost felt very spiritual to me to be able to sit in silence and to enjoy that is a gift I've had messages sometimes where people ask me if 
I experienced loneliness and um, you know especially living alone and and you're 24 and you're 25 when you're single and my answer to that is absolutely not like I can't imagine a more peaceful setting maybe in three years I will really want a partner or I would really want to move in with someone else and I'm very open to that change as well I also remember distinctly being in my space and thinking that this is my sanctuary like that's the kind of emotions that I developed with my space after moving out I don't know what life's gonna look like, you know, uh, two years from now, three years from now, I could be married, I could be single, I could be divorced, I could be a single parent, I don't know any of these things. So for now, I just love that it's just me and my apartment and my lighting and my cozy space and my candles and it's, it's just magical to me. I really do wish everyone gets to experience this at some point. As an Indian, you know, woman, sometimes our life is split into life before marriage and life after marriage. Life before marriage is about pleasing your family and life after marriage is about pleasing, you know, your husband and his family. And somewhere in between all this, we forget that we are individuals and we need to experience that. Even if it's just for a few months or for a few years, it's very crucial for us to experience this. I feel so grateful to be able to live alone and to be able to afford living alone and to have parents that support my decision. I love this space that I've created where I'm quite literally at home. <laughs> That brings us to the end of this video. I hope this was useful. I hope you were able to learn something. I'm going to try and be more regular on YouTube. I hope you stick around and subscribe to my channel. Fuck, this video was two hours long. Okay, bye.